structure of earth, formation of rocks, how are rocks formed? Rocks can be formed beneath or on the surface of earth. Molten rock that is found below the surface of earth is known as a magma. Magma. When volcano erupts, so when the volcano explodes, it's a magma flows to the surface of the earth and is called lava. Geologists typically classify rocks according to how they are formed. There are three types of rocks named igneous, sedimentary, and metaphoric rocks. Let's talk about igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed from molten rocks. Molten rocks, remember, is the rocks underneath the earth and it goes out of the earth from the volcano. They can be classified into two types, intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. So the difference is in and X, like going inside and going exited. Intrusive igneous rocks are formed beneath the surface of the earth. Extrusive igneous rocks are formed on the surface of the earth. Okay, that's the difference. So in, like you're going in, is inside the earth. X, like you're exiting, is formed outside of the earth. Crystals can be found in igneous rocks. Remember, so a crystal is in or out. Igneous rocks in igneous rocks. Not from the beginning. Crystals can be found in igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks have large crystals and are coarse grained. Extrusive igneous rocks have smaller crystals and are fine grained. Okay, remember? So we're talking about crystals. So there is intrusive, which is inside. It's made inside of the earth. And extrusive, which is made outside of the earth. So if the crystal is made inside the earth, then it's coarse. It has lots of holes. But if it's made outside of the earth, it's fine. It has little holes. It is the crystal that give both types of igneous rocks their texture. Intrusive igneous rocks are formed when molten rocks or magma cool and solidify slowly beneath the surface of earth. Intrusive igneous rocks which cool slowly underground have large crystals because the crystals have enough time to grow to a large size. Extrusive igneous rocks are formed when lava that flows on the surface of the earth cools and solidifies. Extrusive igneous rocks, which cools quickly on the surface, have smaller crystals because they do not have enough time to grow in size. So, Intrusive igneous rocks. In. The word here is in. Means science in. It's made inside the earth. Is granite. And it has big pores. The extrusive igneous rocks. That's formed outside of the earth. Has small pores. Sedimentary rocks are made up of grains of rocks weathered from a pre-existing rock or minerals. The grains are also known as sediments. Sediments can be big or small and are often rounded. The grains are pressed and cemented or glued together by dissolved materials to form sedimentary rocks. 
Let us see how sedimentary rocks are formed. Rocks are weathered. Weathered means, you know, it's affected by the weather. Rocks are weathered and then broken down into sediments or small grains of rock by wind, water, heat, and other agents of weathering. Means agent of other weathering is like other ways of weathering. Second, water, wind, or both can carry the sediments away. When the water and the wind slowly slows down, the sediments settle into the land, riverbed, or seabed. Three, sediments form layers on top of one another as they continue to settle. As the layers are heavy, they press on the lower layers, squeezing them tightly together. Okay, so we're going to re-talk about the sediments form layers on top of one another. As they continue to settle, as the layers are heavy, they press on the lower layers and squeeze them tight together. Water from rain or river can dissolve materials which sweep into the cracks and pores in the layers of sediments. As the water evaporates, these dissolved materials are left behind. The dissolved materials can cement the sedimentary rocks together, the sediments to form this, uh, repeat, as the water evaporates, these dissolved materials left behind, the dissolved materials can cement the sediments together to form sedimentary rocks. Formation of fossils. Sedimentary rocks may contain fossils. Fossils are the remains of animals and plants that lived long ago. They are preserved in sedimentary rocks. Let us see how fossils are formed. There are one, uh, one. about 300 million years ago, the earth was thickly covered with trees, huge ferns, and mosses. The seas had billions of microscopic plants and marine animals. Then two, when the microscopic plants died, their remains or their bodies were buried by layers of sand and mud. When the marine animals died, their remains or their bodies sank to the bottom of the sea and become covered by sand and slit. Over millions of years, the dead plants and animals were buried deeper and deeper in the ground. The sand, mud, and slit that covered the remains turned into rock due to the intense heat and pressure. As shells and body and bones do not decompose easily, they are preserved in layers of rocks. The result is formation of fossils. The plant remains turned into coal, while the remains of marine animals become oil. With a layer of natural gas on top, the coal, oil, and gas are also known as fossil fuels like metamorphic rocks now metamorphic rock is a combination of igneous rock and sedimentary rocks let's continue to read the book igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks sometimes change their structure under intense heat and pressure when that occurs metamorphic rocks are formed this change occurs without any melting of the rock. The word metamorphic comes from the word metamorphosis, which means change. We can often find metamorphic rocks 
in the core of mountain ranges, where intense pressure squeezed the rocks together. Millions of years, the mountain ranges erode away. This eventually uncovers metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks can also be found deep beneath the Earth's surface. Slate, marble, schist are examples of metamorphic rocks. So, slate was originally a sedimentary rock called shale. So, slate was actually from dead animals, dead plants, and then they got married to with a uh, igneous rock and they become slate. Same goes for marbles. So the limestone, which is the dead animals and dead plants, mix with the real rock found from the under the volcano, which is the igneous rock, becomes a marble. So limestone married to the igneous rock becomes a marble. Now, a schist was originally the extrusive igneous rock basalt. 